on the father, do you have an enemy who has cruelly subjected you to degradation? Do you wonder how a child of Adam could behave that way? Well, Adam does not have to recognize those of his children who do not honor him. Remember the Ten Commandments. You are supposed to put the Lord first, and honor him and him alone. He is the Father. He is Adam. All the Ten Commandments are about honoring him, and the commandment to honor your father and mother is about honoring Adam and Eve, our first parents created perfect, and perfect in righteousness, it was their children who rebelled and chose evil. So if you are facing one of Adam and Eve's children who does not honor Adam, then call upon the Father for deliverance. We must walk justly and humbly in the paths of light, respecting Adam and his loving kindness toward us. We are undeserving children in this degenerate generation. Look at the sigil. Take in the Hebrew words from right to left. Allow the star of David to become part of your being. Study the sigil, knowing that it is a key to reaching the Lord, the beloved David, whose dominion is an everlasting dominion and never ends. Then say, Kid, At, Avika, Fehad, Emeka, honor your father and your mother, Malkutka, Tavo, Retzonka, Yased, Bara Retz, Ken, Kevar Shamahim, your kingdom will come, your will, will be done, on earth it is as in heaven, know that the Father of all has heard you. He is full of compassion to those who choose to walk in the path of the just, which is as the shining light, that shines more and more unto the perfect day. Feel gratitude to Adam for his tender care, but know that the wicked stumble in darkness and depart. The path, that the feet of the righteous tread, is established in all the Lord's ways. 